them dead, them dead, them dead, them dead, them dead. It's a two nil win. Round of applause to the police, them. Guess who now get the food when the food they shot today? But me know where I got them. Me know where I got them. What will they paballing round the pandians? <laughs> back to my view tv the people's platform the home of undiluted news reviews updates and your daily dose of entertainment don't forget to hit the notification bell leave us a comment like share and subscribe i don't bring nobody forward in your future for me everything what you see up my natural talent let me tell you something you see when you know what to please the audience wait it's simple me Sometimes you have to make a decision that will break your heart but will give peace to your soul. Well, go on, my people. Hope everybody doing okay. Hope everybody doing all right. Give thanks to life for the gathering. Hold on a bit there now. You will never have a big breakthrough without big battles. If God call you, he will persevere you. Always. Always. Remember that. Okay? Anyway, now, people, try one, power go on. You know, from when Ricardo dead. And then just I said, no, if we definitely make it look like, say, and this way came dead. What is their angle? What the angle? That's how me want to know. But don't worry on yourself. Who know it got ready? Run a cut, burn pen. You understand? So no go and get ball to ball, come and chief from none of that. But better than ever they know. Say, man dead round the road. Man dead round the road. I'm a tough fuck. I told man dead round the road, you know. I'm going to tell you what I'm going for, what I'm going for that. But because I start the nose right, that's the first. Can I tell the police them? You see for the rest of this year? Let's go to the Amor funeral. So what I said, I mean what I said. You know me already. The boy in a Spanish town get to a still. Three men are in custody after a pistol and several rounds of ammunition were seized during a snap raid conducted in Lake Spain, Spanish town yesterday. Report from the EDAT police at the Spanish town police station that at about 1.30 p.m. the lawmen act on intelligence conducted an operation in the mentioned area and a premises was searched. One 9mm pistol with several assaulted rounds of ammunition was found at the back of the premises. The three men were subsequently taken to custody. In connection with the fine, the identity are being with help pending further investigation. I can tell you something. Them the boy there, a gunman. All three of them are gunman. I don't hide and talk. Anyway, more news. I'm not a fuck. Them find more gun. A woman and a man who should be dead was arrested for the siege of firearm and ammunition along the Wallingford Main Road in St. Elizabeth on Friday. Report reaching on news team from the big Edad police station on the Balaka police station at about 8.49 p.m. Lawmen was in the area when they signaled the driver of Isuzu truck to stop and the driver comply. A search of the vehicle was conducted and during the search, one 9 minute pistol with a magazine containing six 9 meter rounds of ammo was found in the vehicle. Not a ball job, people. All three occupants were arrested, however, their identity are being without pending further investigation. Boy, oh boy, the band them now. Ram for your ball. Anyway, let me tell you about Cheryl now. Them finally tell you about Cheryl. Me did not say she. I say in general, was charged with several offenses following an operation by the Waste of Time Task Force in Green Heights Meadow, Green Pony St. James, which resulted in the siege of five firearms, including three rifles and 466 assaulted rounds of ammunition. She is 48 year old Cheryl McCollum, an entrepreneur of Green Heights Meadows, Green Pond in the parish. Report reached on news team that about 4.30 a.m. Lawman in the area when a premises that was occupied by the woman was searched. During the search, three rifles, two pistols, yes, people, and the whole heap, a whole heap, a whole heap of rounds of ammo was found in her possession. McCullough was subsequently taken into custody and was charged for every single thing. He had that's another whole heap of charge them fling on their belt instead of them slap power. Well, and a bit, you know, people, as the Asian them drop a Portland. Guess what happened? Guess what happened? I can tell you now. The Portland police are reported the siege of 660 pounds of ganja during a joint military operation in Fairy Hill in the parish. While no one was arrested following the seizure, the head of the Portland police superintendent Lloyd Darby said the seizure is evidence that the gun for drugs trade still exists in the parish. 
Report Richard on news here between the hours of 9.15 p.m. and 11.30 p.m. on Thursday, a joint police military team carried out an operation in bushes for illegal drugs, during which four cocos bags and four black scandal bags Remember, remember, good, 100 them black scandal bags, I don't know how them still have them, was found under a sheet of zinc. Close inspection of the area revealed another 25 crocus bag right under one sheet of zinc right over there. So, hidden right under one star apple tree, the mean fruit to be exact. The bag was examined and found to be ganja. Yes, ganja in it. The drug is estimated to have a street value of approximately $3 million. And that be a so much on God power, God my view. The drugs for gun trade, it continues. And some look at your there. I don't know what I'm going to do with them. But here we are going to power, one. That is not my concern. I can give the people them when them come here now. Who know what you're who dead? Why them dead? I know why you're so mixed up to don't it. Keep back and relax them and make a start with them and eat at first. 70 motorcyclists killed in 70 fatal crashes. Since the start of the year, some 70 motorcyclists have been killed in 70 fatal motor crash since the start of the year, according to the latest statistics released on Friday by the Road Safety Unit. Among the 70 are four who were killed during a seven-day period, which ended Friday, July 14. A total of six people were killed during the course of last week. The others were a 23-year-old driver of a private motor vehicle and a 45-year-old female pedestrian. The latest victim has pushed to 216. Let me say that again. 216. The number of people who have perished in motor vehicle crash since the start of the year. The death has resulted from 198 fatal crashes. I'm going to tell you something. When me talk to them, them not here. When me come and me say, take on time on the road. Uno not here. So guess what, man? Uno feel. I'm a tough I can uno feel, you know. And the people that want a dead left, I feed them pack it about them because of them I feel bury you know. If I did all me, you know, should I be for my family and see what go on power will go on for you no. Know? I'm not telling you still, only guess in the comment section. But anyway, I can tell you who dead now. Cause he has to go down the road right down the dead, so and him dead brawling too. No man, somebody named Brawling is dead. I don't say him dead brawling, but somebody when dead named Brawling. You don't know, believe me, don't it? Keep back with free news. Two men were shot and killed in Paris St. Anne Saturday evening. The deceased has been identified as 23-year-old Shamrick Edwards, otherwise called Papi, a carpenter of Stone Hill St. Andrew, and 30 year old Garfield Thomas, otherwise called Berlin, a mason of Secret Discovery Bay in St. Anne's. Police reported at about 6.15 p.m. Edwards and Thomas were pounced upon by gunmen who opened fire hitting them. When the shooting subsided, I can tell the people, and the people them got right around there, they got look. A two man is sitting long on the ground, dead, dead, dead. Nobody, nobody, nobody tell you about yo. Then came to the hospital and so come deep injury and undergoing treatment. Nothing done, Gossa. Not a damn thing, Gossa. I tell the truth, don't even talk to the people, them lie. Dead body, you don't pick up and carry up there. Yes. Nobody make a doctor, them look like they're not working, they never do nothing. The police, them are big liars, I want to know, believe me. Just tell them, come and I say, yo, murder down the sentence, murder this, murder that. But watch out now, people. As of July 8th, St. Anne recorded the highest increase in murder comparison to the corresponding period last year, with statistics from the police indicating that there had been 42 murders in comparison to the 22 in similar period in 2022. That is a 61.5% increase, and I would have been a chick. Check where we have a little bit of data. You understand, people? Them can't fool me. None at all. Anyway, what's your gun for? What's going on now? Right around a Glockburn pen, my gun, I say, people. Big's dead from the 19th of June. You understand? Them don't go like say Big's dead. I see there. Eh? Funeral program and a bag of things. But I see them release one video and a bag of people. I wonder why they release the video. I sure no one show people say. One and two little man that here, they have gun. But they have gun for them and they never do nothing with it. You understand? But do not ask me now. Me are the person. They can't burn pen people them are called and I say my view. I always show big. Find out and tell me who oh, really come come show big. So me ask them one question. We not retaliate. And all know them can't answer me, understand. But I know we no one know. We know one for the man them from Belrock and the man them from back to come come show big. Me can't tell you no. Me can't tell you no. I can't tell you who didn't care to. Me can't tell you as a who didn't care. Me can't tell you. And I can't tell you about the police them. With the upper road in the bar, we a drink under Sykes. Yes, man. The same police them want to see drive past. 
Them know where going, you know. Them know where going. Me not ask you, no. Tell me, I tell you, no. But, keep back and relax. Keep back and relax. And remember, say, me have something else to deal with. And the news at this stage, FIFA, first in, first out. So, me I go back to Penko and Honey Boy. And me have something to tell you about Tommy Lito in Heights. So. You are going for a the people them attack. Remember, me pitch me 10 round there, no. My views it's plenty more to this saga around Cockburn Pen, just know that the place is fully corrupted around there, when you talk about mind games friend killing friend and the whole works. That's the place to find it. Alright, remember Bully and Wall Die days, the name Penko comes to mind because Penko was Bully right hand man and Penko link with Crow from Content Avenue. One of the acting SSP son who was Wall Die top killer at the time, and that's how they conspired and killed Bully his brother, and Mampi Zeeks over LaRousse. The only person that escaped that killing was Penko, so ever since then Penko has been under scrutiny as a sellout, because they said it's Penko that sold out Bully. Then you have a Don back in the day named Raymond his top shotter was Honey Boy. When they killed Raymond and it said that a wall die order it and Honey Boy swore revenge, to even innocent children as he held a young baby in his hands. Mark Shields got a hold of that video and Honey was locked up for a couple years. This was from about 2007, or 2008 fast forward to when Wunny British came back and built the apartment someone in England paid Wunny British for an apartment and when the person came to Jamaica Wunny British start use badness on the man and didn't honor his end of the agreement by handing over apartment keys. Honey boy just came from prison after Mark Shields locked him up and he was given the contract to kill Wunny British. He did so and he was rewarded with a brand new Honda CBRRR motorcycle, and some millions this Monday gone they tried to kill Honey Boy who was now sparring with Penko. So this begs the question how is Bully Loyal Soldier sparring with Waldai Loyal Soldier and Bully and Waldai was always at war? Or should I say they tried to kill Penko and Honey Boy got shot up? On another note when they said Tommy Lee Sparta was held with the gun that killed Roy Fowl and Wunny British that's a lie and can't be true. Reason being the section of Cockburn Pen that Tommy Lee Sparta hangs out is the same place where Roy Fowl is in charge of, and everyone knows that it's Benai Man and Mum Puss who killed Roy Fowl. And they come from the section of Cockburn Pen called Gully Muscles and his son Liney are the Dons over there. And everyone knows that it was Muscles that ordered Roy Fowl hit because of the death of Tulu and Muscles' son Pazzy. Saying that to say this. If they had said the gun found on Tommy Lee Sparta killed Wunny British then maybe we could say maybe because it's the same place that Honey Boy hang out around Cockburn Pen that Tommy Lee Sparta hangs out and it's Honey Boy that kill Wunny British. But it's highly unlikely for Gully Man to let the gun that killed Roy Fowl reach in Maho Drive Mandam hands. <laughs>